Oh, what's up, guys? Can we assess? Um, I met some guy. There was, um, name brother. I was saving people in some store. Yeah. Now we need to do this Dutch mission. But, yeah. And then we shame them. The guy gave him something to eat. And then he works from somewhere, but I don't remember the name. Let's do this. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just some slick little greasy haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up a place, the boy's gonna get shot down, I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <laughs> you get your boss down <laughs> so we can talk about this like gentlemen. <laughs> Run along now, boy. <laughs> Damn. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. Twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodore, <laughs> that is a very stiff woman, <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn, uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, can my friend? Have his son. Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? 
No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde. <coughs> you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack ransom. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. The Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Easy. This way. Man. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. What the freak? What's that? How does John not see that? Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. Someone's here somewhere. Come on. Here's something. Hey, wait a second. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Our friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Sooner we get this done, sooner we get Jack back. I saw like somebody running. What the? Oh, I thought I, I thought that was the person. There, there it is. The freak. Too late. How are we gonna get 
get Jack back. Oh, bro, I don't know who, who that is. This way. What the hell? It's some damn birds. Come on. Come on. Let's find them and get the hell out of here. Please just can't kill the person. Okay. Get oh, I saw her. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy. Was that noise? Shh, hold up. I think I heard something. What? Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. Hey, John. Well, there's here. probably somebody in there. How's the radio? Oh, damn, hold up. A frick. Help! Don't worry, let's go and do the job. The hell we go? Oh! Find this. 
stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. <clears throat> <laughs> we can't go back to Bronte without this job pulling hard enough. I think there might be something in here. Got it. Yeah. Damn it. Law. Let's get out of here. Shit. It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. Damn it. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. There's like an escape plan right there. Bro, we're so lucky they didn't go right. Quick for you. Go, 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 go. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Looks like we lost them for now. Come on. Let's just get there. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there and collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even going to know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we've got Jack. Hold up, let me get yours. What are you doing? Let's go get Jack. Well, you took your time. Where's your Jack? Like I said, you took your time. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. But my man. Hey, friend, thank Mr. Bronte for everything. Yeah, I'm trying. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. Really? <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. Papa Bronte? I'm sorry. What for? For that. 
taking so long? Oh, bad. <laughs> Spaghetti. Papa Bronte, teach me Why is he calling him Papa Bronte? Don't call him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're alright. Oh, yes. I have the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? Oh, she bro. Sure did. Like you wouldn't know. <laughs> like uh, like with our mind. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know? I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, He'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Get the money we need and disappear. Hey, they're back. I think I see Jack. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, boys, say thank you. Thank you, Arthur. <clears throat> I-I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. 
no se lo des a nadie, no sé. el hito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. Cuando se alegran, cielito lindo los corazones. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo. Must be starving, son. Let me get you some to eat. Thanks, Mama. Hey there. Can I play a little? Of course you can. Well done, John. Couldn't have done it without Dutch and Arthur. The old guard. I'm very relieved. We all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Well, I'll let you find folks get reacquainted. Miss Grimshaw? Tahiti, oh. dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Ada. Thanks. Hi, folks. Hi, Mr. Morgan. Hey there. How's it all going? This is going my way for once. Uh, no. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Okay, good. Okay. It's okay. Eat that all up now, Jack. Okay, Mama. Sorry it ain't spaghetti. Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. I might have a couple. This is a party. Come Look on. after that kid. All right, oh, all right. I will. Hello, Abigail. Mr. Morgan. How are you holding up? Doing well. Good to hear. Take care, Arthur. Where do I party with? How's it gonna go? Thanks. Hey. I'll be civil, Miss Grimshaw. Hello, Miss Jones. I didn't see you there, Jack. You okay? Hiya, Arthur. Dirty lips for. He asked me for a candlestick to light him up to bed. He asked me for my handkerchief to wind around his head. And me being a little fool and thinking it harm, I jumped in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm. Oh, Trisco. Yeah, Arthur. <laughs> Where How are you? Hell, I'm doing real good. Glad to hear it. Yep, it's good talking to you. Who in stupid bear? Nobody ever gonna take him again. I swear. So, I was thinking. Maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stayed together. You know, in my room. You mean like a normal family? <laughs> Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. You're right about that.
a letter. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. Bruh. Fault, but I need your help. Well, I'm like the only I'm person on the planet, you think? Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. How long have we recorded? 32 minutes. Whoa. Oh, God, stay away from that whiskey. Morning to you. You good, Abigail? Hi there. At least say it like you're pretending to like me. I'm not playing this game. <laughs> don't worry, I'm just playing with you. I don't know why you still play this game. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yeah, goodbye. Good morning, Arthur. Morning. I must stop recording now. That's good. There he is. Whew, that was so nice. Peace. I mean, this would have be been. Peace.